All right, my babe, this is a video about a problem that I've had before, which is tinned copper. For the uninitiated, tinned copper uh, looks like it's basically standard copper and it has a silver coating on the outside. It's non-magnetic and it's literally just a, a very thin coating, uh, but it stops you getting full price for the copper. And the problem I've had is that you turn up at the scrapyard, you've got your copper, the bloke on the scale says that's tin copper's got to go separate and you've got a couple of bits and it's not a kilo, so you can't weigh it in and then you end up stuck with tin copper until you've got a few other bits to make up a kilo. So uh, I have a little way around that. Right, here's some tin copper on the bench. Now you're going to tell me you can't see it, aren't you? You can't see the tin bit. Now, see where it's got the silver coating. Uh, let's have a closer look. There we go. Have you seen that in there? That's a bit of... Uh, 15 mil tinned copper tube shoved it in the pipe. Pipes often get closed up on the end you bend them anyway. Obviously you don't want it rattling around in there so flattened it. Does this look suspicious? If you were working on the scale would you be like there's something in that? This is a 15 mil bit of copper. Obviously that's 22. Inside here I've got some tinned copper which is a little bit of sort of like not quite microbore, but smaller than 15, and that's from uh, a gas fire from someone's living room. And again, it's flattened on the end, and even if it wedges in there, partly it's flattened, I flatten it so it doesn't fall out, and also so you can't hear it rattling around. You reckon you'd spot that on a small scale? Let's play a game. Okay, got three pieces of copper. This is the one with the tin copper in. Are you paying attention? Which one's the tin copper in? You're telling me you can see the tin copper? You found it straight away. Okay, Mr. Smug. How about now? That's how I get full price for tin copper.